In the book Moment of Lift, Melinda Gates mentioned every woman should be able to use her voice and pursue her potential. That women and men should all work together to take down the barriers and end the biases that still hold women back. In this series, Women of Wonder, we bring to you inspiring stories of how women in this region have blazed the trail of breaking barriers and pursuing their destinies in STEM. Hi, I'm Zing Yi from Singapore. I'm currently a data scientist in HTX. My name is Kirutika. I work at the Science Centre Singapore. I'm Leila Etati uh, from New Zealand, Auckland. I'm AI and Data Platform MVP. And also, I co-founder of the company named Radakat. My name is Hong Phuc Dang. I am originally from Vietnam and uh, I am the founder of Force Asia, the biggest open source community in Southeast Asia. I'm Sudi from Singapore. I'm the deputy director from HDX. I used to be a statistician and enjoy working with numbers, so I just wanted to take a chance to explore other techniques uh, beyond uh, using the traditional regression methods. Hence, uh, I, I started reading a master's in the relevant field and uh, venture into this tech space. So it has to do a lot with, uh, with open source community. Uh, back in, the, in my university, I got a chance to um, uh, to take part in the Linux, uh, the local Linux user group, where I learned how to in in install um, Linux machine and also pick up some coding from the people in the community. Uh, I was really inspired by uh, by their energy, um, enthusiasm on uh, contributing to uh, to different technology. There's a lot of opportunity to learn and to exchange knowledge. So. Um, I grew up in a developing country like Vietnam, you know, you don't get a, a lot exposed to the international environment. But I was really surprised being part of the open source community, it means that you can connect with people from all over the world. One thing that we know when we are talking about gender diversity gap is that it starts really young. So for girls, we give them dolls and for boys we give them train sets when they when they're young right and then that is a very implicit message that goes and grows up as with our girls as they grow older so to bridge the gender diversity gap it has to start very very young um, almost from the moment that a child is born and which is why one of the things that we do is uh, we work with parents to to tell them a little bit more about the importance of stem in, in society, in girls, in, uh, for, for everyone. Exposure to science and technology should start from young. Back then, I'm, a few, uh, I'm one of the few students pursuing my engineering degree. Today, girls are exposed to coding, science and technology at a younger age. Even my 5 years old daughter are actually learning robotics in her school. Judith love Cohen. On the day she gave birth, she helped create the uh, airport guidance system that rescued Apollo 13 uh, astronauts. So she's job to work and uh, family like a pro. My favourite at this point of time is Rosalind Franklin because uh, if you look at her story, you'll find that she actually believed in the need for experiments, data, mathematics and their role in the generation of good science. And that's what science is all about. I do not have a specific hero that I look upon. I derive inspiration from the leaders and the people I work with by observing and relating to my personal goals. Just believe in their uh, strength and believe that they can um, kind of be good in their career and uh, kind of try to sound themselves with the good people that they are supportive with a woman like them be connected to the other woman that they are in this career. Yes, they are few, but if they know each other, it can be really good. Talk to people um, who are into STEM, um, talk to your teachers, talk to industry um, professionals in science and technology. Um, at the same time, try to attend um, workshops, camps, programs where you can work on projects and prototypes and build up your portfolio. Just go ahead and pursue your interest. Uh, nothing is all that scary or too daunting out there. So even if you are the only female in this entire conglomerate of male out there, um, um, 
you, you can just, it doesn't put you at any disadvantage at all. So your ideas and tenacity or could actually stand out.